The following segment is sponsored by the Dougie Center. Welcome back to AM Northwest. We're celebrating the season of giving by shining a spotlight on local organizations that need our support. One of those organizations provides grief support for children, teens, young adults, and their families before and after a death. Here to share more about the Dougie Center, we welcome back Executive Director Brennan Wood, along with Dougie Center participant Brigitte Lucas. Good to have you both with us. Let me start with you, though, Brigitte. Well, first of all, let's talk about what the Dougie Center is. So, sure. Brennan. Yeah, so Dougie Center provides a safe place for kids and families who are grieving before and after a death. We really provide an opportunity for kids to come together to share their experiences when they've had a similar similar thing happen in their families. Is it because um, most people can't relate to a death of a, a parent oftentimes when they're young, like let's say 10 years old or something like that? Yeah, oftentimes yeah. kids feel like they're the only kid in the world right. that this has happened to, and right. unfortunately, that's just not the case. And so when we bring kids together who have had a similar experience, they can normalize it for one another, share about that experience yeah. with each other. And it really goes a tremendous way to help kids feel uh, more grounded and normal and like they have support to handle what, what they've been through. Absolutely. Brigitte, you lost your husband not that long ago. Yep, we're coming up on a year. Wow, what happened? Um, so he ended up passing of COVID. Um, he was positive on Friday. Saturday, we got him the treatment. Um, he felt kind of back to normal on Tuesday morning. He pretty much had a turn and wow. um, he had a drop in oxygen. And so I called the ambulance and he got to the hospital by pretty much um, like five o'clock. They wanted to put him on a ventilator. Oh. By 11 o'clock, they wanted life support and he passed on December 22nd. And how old was he? He was only 30. Oh my gosh. And your daughter, tell me about your daughter. So I have two daughters. One, when he passed, was seven months old and one was three year old. Right. Braylon is my three year old and she's the one that attends Dougie Center. Um, she had experienced a lot of death prior, but honestly, when her daddy passed, it was. <laughs> it, devastating. Yeah. It completely rocks your world. Yes, 100%. And it tore her apart. Oh and my gosh. Like, she used to handle grief okay. Um, but when it came to my husband, there was huge regressions and outbursts, and she really did struggle. And so I set up a meeting with my pediatrician, yeah. and he's the one that actually told me about the Dougie Center. And I was like, let's do it. And they couldn't get us in right away, but they did send book because they teamed up with uh, Slumberkins. Yep, Slumberkins. Yep. Oh, great. Yeah. And so they sent a book to help us out. We were able to get online into an online group. And shortly after, we were able to actually attend the Dougie Center. And my daughter loves it. Well, why do you think it helps? Honestly, she has told me it makes her feel normal. Okay. Everybody there is so intuitive and they ask questions and they help her learn how to process and how to make her daddy's story really a part of her story right. in a way that makes it to be okay that it's he's gone. Yeah. But yet she is able to still celebrate his life and be with kids who are in the same boat as her. Um, she's really found a lot of friends at Dougie Center, yeah. and she will tell everybody about Dougie Center that she possibly can. <laughs> That's so great. So she's like, can I go all day? And yeah. I'm like, no, we can't go all day. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got to ask you this. Why do you think um, it's so important for kids who are experiencing grief like this, the loss of a parent? Your adopted daughter lost both parents. Yes. And it's really helped her. And now at 17, she's going back to be a counselor herself yeah. or a group leader. Yeah, it's amazing. And I went through the program when I was 12 yeah. and my mom died back in 1987. And I think that kids really need to know that grief is a natural, normal, healthy response to loss. Yeah. That there isn't anything wrong with you when you're grieving and that it's okay to feel those big feelings. Yeah. It's okay to have anger, it's okay to be upset, not okay to punch your little brother <laughs> or sister, right? Sure. And so learning how to talk about what they've gone through, express what they're going through in all these different ways. We have art, we have 
theater, we have uh, big energy rooms, we have music, we have all these different mm -hmm. ways for kids to express what they're going through and they get the chance to tell their story every time they come to Dougie Center. Mm -hmm. We want to tell viewers if you would like to help because they would need your help, you can uh, contact the Dougie Center and we'll put the information on our website at ka2.com slash give. Thank you so much, Ember I'm so Thank sorry. You. I appreciate it. Okay, we'll be right back.